y'all welcome back to another estrogen release video i'm asia in today's video y'all i've been going through some things going through some things mentally um my brain lately just has been feeling like don't hate lady don't hate don't hate on me don't hate on me boo boo beep pop not beep boo boo beep Yeah, so the best way I describe it to people is that my brain feels mushy. It feels like it's a lot going on um, And I really I'm trying to focus on you know getting through the day and getting through you know The things I have to do from day to day, um, but it just feels very chaotic up here. So in here and in here but just to be a hundred hundred percent honest with you guys um yeah that's what i've been going through these past few weeks i've spoke about this in my past videos but one thing that's very important to me is learning my triggers recognizing my triggers with the hopes of preventing or avoiding what i think is like a potential breakdown so i've been trying to get to the root of it and one thing that really confuses me it just feels like this constant loop that i'm in there's days when i feel like i made a lot of progress you know i'm i'm doing well and then something happens and it's like boom i'm right back at square one um but i am very grateful because i i can say i don't think that i am as bad as i used to be i think that i am getting better especially because i do take time to recognize my triggers but I still I'm still trying to figure out how to get this loop under control so hopefully I won't ever have to worry about these feelings and this chaotic mamma jamma or mumbo jumbo or fiesta that's going on in my head so again I'm very thankful that I'm not where I used to be but I know that when I have moments like these I have to like basically kickstart you know something put something into action i have to start you know working it out and and trying to find a solution before it gets bad right i know for a fact that one thing that's making me feel chaotic and all over the place is my house my apartment my closet my closets every closet in my apartment is pretty much garbage at this point and y'all know how my house my home is basically my sanctuary is where i found i center myself and when that's out of place i feel out of place or it adds to the feeling of being out of place so that is the first step i am going to clean my closet it's so bad it's getting to the point where i feel like i have a lot of clothes but i don't i'm not aware of what i have um and that's kind of frustrating especially when i'm trying to you know figure out what to wear especially to certain events and stuff and i also want to buy more things so kind of have to get rid of things to buy more things so that's the plan i have some hangers i brought some hangers because the goal is to hang up more stuff so i can utilize the shelf space a little bit more or make it a little bit less y'all ain't gonna lie it's getting to the point i'm I just been tossing stuff up there like just tossing and it's falling on the floor i can't find clothes it's just really it's not cute at this point so yeah Let's get started. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous because I'm on a time crunch, so. So to start everything off, I'm gonna start a keep pile and then I'm gonna have a get rid of pile just to separate everything. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like I'm gonna have some separation anxiety today, but we're gonna make it work, so let's start that. So I took a quick break from organizing to get a quick snack. I need to refill my body. It's a lot of work and every time I start stuff like this, as soon as I get into the nitty gritty, I'm like, yo, like, 
was this really meant for me to do this today like was i really supposed to do this today um but all in all i do feel a little bit better because i'm making progress right now i have a keep and a get rid of pal which is first step complete so that's pretty <laughs> But I'm not officially done with the keep and get rid of piles because I still have to do the stuff that was hanging up. And y'all, I just washed clothes. So there's a bunch of other clothes on my couch that I still have to go through to see if I want some of the stuff in there and throw out some of the stuff in there. So one thing I know for sure, I have a lot of clothes that I was not tracking. Like I've seen shirts that I haven't worn in months, which is pretty exciting from thinking like, ooh, I can get a picture in that now or something you know things like that i am a graphic tee fanatic so i have so many graphic tees and i plan on getting more because that's just who i am as a person but for the most part i feel like i'm making good progress so i'm gonna finish my snack and get back to it i wanted to be done by 12. we got like less than an hour so let's get to it So now that everything is put away in the trash bag, I'm going to start hanging a few things up. I'm also going to get the things off my couch and start kind of like looking through there just to see like, okay, do I have more trash or I'm going to keep the stuff? I think I'm going to keep the stuff on the couch because that's stuff I frequently use and wear. So... A-B-U-T-R-E-A-T. She wanted to be on camera so bad, y'all. So bad. So I am done for the most part and you guys I can't explain to you all the weight that has been lifted off of me like I feel like I can breathe a little bit better I already feel a little bit like cleared minded um, I'm telling you that closet has been adding to that chaotic feeling for so long and when you are not feeling your best having a messy space just does not help it doesn't help me I should say so I'm so glad to get this done. I'm gonna give you guys a quick video just to show you what it looks like now. Y'all, let me give you a rundown of how I organize. Well, I'm not even gonna bore y'all with all that type of stuff, but I basically try to make it as simple as possible so everything's a little bit more accessible. And I know what I have now, so I'm gonna be looking for certain things when it's time for me to get ready. And y'all, this is, this is what I needed. This is what I needed, so. It's funny, that still looks like a mountain of clothes, but it's better, trust me. I feel much better with that than what it was. But yeah, it's not the best, but it's good enough for me. I wish I had that dope aesthetic um, organization type vibe when it comes to my apartment. You know how you see on like Instagram and stuff like that, but for me that's unfortunately not a part of my reality. Um, maybe one day, but right now this is good enough and I'm happy with it. Um, I kind of just wanted to end this video off here by saying that first, your triggers. Knowing what triggers you is so important. It's important for me because it just helps me to get ahead of it, to beat that, beat it to the punch, I guess you could say. And another thing that has really helped me during this time and continues to help me, and I realize that I need to, you know, utilize it a little bit more, is writing things down. It's becoming more evident that I have to write things down. Like, it's a necessity for me. And I really thought I was like a go with the flow type person. I thought that I can just freestyle things. And I think that it is in me. But when it comes to getting my mind on or getting my mind in a space where I can actually get things done and feel good and just feel like I'm being productive, but also, you know, not feeling overwhelmed as easily is the writing things down, y'all. I mean, Again, I've, I've always written things down, but it's just becoming more and more like, you no know, sister, girl, you have to do this in order to thrive and you have to do this for, for to keep my mental peace. I have to write things down. Um, I, again, I just have to do it for myself. One day it kind of got bad when I just felt like my brain was going to explode with everything that I had to do and it was really, you know, just, you know, getting me overwhelmed and I, you know, once your breathing starts getting a little wonky, it's like, okay, what's really going on? I started writing everything down and with every problem I've had or every problem that I felt that I was having, I wrote a solution down to it. And it sounds corny, I know, and I apologize if everybody's like, girl, this isn't, this isn't anything new, but it definitely just made me feel better, you know. And now seeing something that went from a list to actually being completed, I feel even more better.
but I, I feel much better I should say um, I feel much better and again this is just one of the problems that I was facing was a chaotic space um, and this part is completed I honestly I want to do my whole apartment so many things that I just need to just kind of like either throw out or just kind of get a little bit uh, more organized a better system so maybe that will come in future videos all in all am I where I need to be no but do I feel that I am a step closer yes again I am I'm not really good with expressing my feelings but I know that for me writing has definitely made it better and completing a test has definitely made it better as well so that is going to be the move for the next few months and hopefully I can document it because your girl needs content but yeah once I move to other areas of my place maybe I'll sh you know take y'all with me with that as well before I go I wanted to give you guys a cute little montage of me and my family at King's Dominion roll, roll the tapes, the tapes. I love my family so much. They are definitely uh, another reason why I am who I am. And you know, when I do have these moments of feeling just completely out of whack, my family also brings me back to my center, my friends as well. I've said that in so many videos, but um, yeah, that, that video makes me smile because I just love my family so much. So with that being said, thank you for watching. If you're watching, please like, comment and subscribe and I'll catch you on the next video. Peace. Bye. They're taking a pure electric signal and sculpting it into something of beauty.